Fantastic. Welcome to Wellness Conversations. We are live on Spiritual Events Directory. Uh, here we are, Wellness Conversations, brought to you by our wellness community and sponsored by Spiritual Events Directory. And uh, I do think we are on the right page there, Luanne. <laughs> Bringing Luanne Marine into, uh, into our conversation. And Luanne, oh, now Luanne, you and I have known each other for a number of years. We've got to talk about that actually, because I was trying to, I was trying to remember how I came to the first um, goddess gathering. But uh, for our audience out there in spiritual events directory land, uh, Luanne Marine, global goddess gatherer, divine business mentor, goddess on purpose, and of course, leading expert in hand analysis. But it's hand analysis of. Uh, of a whole different kind, and we are going to talk about that and then so much more. Welcome to Levan. Hey, hi, Michelle. Hi, everyone. Hello. So now, we were just talking, uh, yeah, so I think we can share it around from here. Luanne's yes. got some more uh, yes. some more skills. Um, <laughs> as not, so we both got, uh, we both got um, maybe even the same level of skills, but just in different ways. So we're always learning from each other, Luanne. It's absolutely yes. awesome. Yes, we said, uh, we're going to uh, share, share, share around uh, here, our uh, spiritual mm -hmm. events directory. So, uh, as you know, uh, audience, we come on every Sunday between six and seven p.m. It's called the Woo Woo series, and uh, and what we aim to do is, uh, you know, tell some Woo Woo stories. It's all about the unique, the unusual, and the unknown. And of course, Luann, we are in such unknown, unknown times that uh, there'll be a little bit more to talk about uh, tonight everybody but um but you know it's all about the woo woo talks and uh, and we do some complimentary readings and then we get to know our special guest who has her own um big set of uh, tools in her kit so Luann let's well let's start off with that actually I was trying to remember how did I get to the first goddess um circle because she started that uh, way back in 2010 I think yes, it was it was yeah it was 2010 probably the the year before actually 2009 so and it was just you know something I wanted to connect um with other yeah. women like-minded women and it's like well you know build it and they will come and they yes. do <laughs> love it <laughs> so I think, and Facebook has a great way of reminding you right so yes. I don't think I was even on Facebook when I no I think I was started then just started and yeah so I think there was a reminder the other day it was 2009 the first one and I went wow that just, yeah was amazing and you you turned up and then you you actually ran some classes there yourself remember you did the numerology Beautiful. Classes. Right. Mm. exactly i did yeah. do some numerology uh, classes yeah. a little bit later on but uh but yeah it was 2010 and um and and as you say how wonderful you just had that uh, that that thought that desire to to connect and um wow over the course of how many years did you run those for because the the number of of women that came into that space and left that space space so much more empowered mm. uh, and so much more uh, uh you know on their path and in their purpose because of uh, everything that we uh, got to to see and embrace and experience in that space was phenomenal yeah and I, sometimes i don't even I, I have to go just stop and go yes that is so true like you know I just see other groups forming and you know you've yes. got your own flavor everyone's got their own flavor and it's just yeah. beautiful it's that and I think that was the whole bigger picture of it you know we started with 12 ladies and I think the biggest was about 48 in there one time and then I went you know I went to LA so there was five years five years ago yes. I think, them, so five or six years ago and that was probably great because instead of yeah. coming there, everybody had to go off and do their own thing. And they did. Mm, you know, that's what I love. Beautiful. That's what I love about the community that, community, that we all kind of came together. We've all learned uh, in different ways from each other at different times. We all are part of one community, but within that community, there were so many, so many communities all coming together. Uh, when they need to come together, they move apart, they come together. It's just this never ending cycle of giving and receiving. It's yeah. uh, it's unbelievable. So when we get to the hands, so you know, for all of us, we kind of had the desire to, uh, we sort of just walked in the direction of, of of wanting to know more, learn more. We mm. needed more, and we all kind of ended up with lots of things, but one thing in particular, and for you, it was hands. 
It was. So I thought, well, I had the goddess stuff at the beginning. Yes, like, that's I right. Before I even knew about hand analysis and my purpose. So that's just been a desire of mine throughout, through, as long as I remember, even as a kid, like, what am I really here to do? Which I love this, the woo-woo community, right? Yes. Like, surely I'm not just here to be a bookkeeper or surely, you know, there's got to be something else or, or a croupier. But, you know, yeah. from there, um, you know, we like we are here to do something. And even from that first goddess gathering, um, I knew there was more. So I came to my hand analysis. I learned it. I went over to over to America, I traveled for a year, learned it, mastered it. And I just wanted to bring it back and share it with so many other people. And you know, it's one model, it's not the only one, but it's the one that I think is, is the easiest yes. to do, like numerology as well, yes. design. Everything fits together. Everything fits together in the end. Um, and then as you say, you just resonated. You just just yeah. really, uh, you know, you, you found it, it resonated. Um, you've had that thirst for it ever since. And what's been great about the hands for you and the numbers for me is that uh, it just keeps getting deeper and deeper and more and more. It just never ends. It, it doesn't. You know, some people get a reading like nine years ago and then it's like, they'll have one every couple of years just for a top up and you yeah. it doesn't change but the expression of you you know you change exactly it, you just grow and change and you know, I'm even looking at the way I'm doing new things now and I'm yes. like oh, okay and that can be scary for some you know it can be scary I, sometimes I'll read their purpose out and they're like ah oh, no pressure and it's like well no there is no pressure we're all at free will you have the choice yeah. to do this or not but you know why not why yeah. not yeah yeah, absolutely. And then you know we're going to we're going to talk, uh, Lou. You know, with with um, the hand uh, the hand analysis. There's uh, firstly there's the uh, you know the four schools. Yes. We've all we, we, we've all um, and and we must sort of say that Luann, actually you do this off um, a, a, a handprint or a fingerprint. Yes. It's not like palmistry. Palmistry is about the fingers, about the lines on the palm. Um, hand analysis is about the fingerprints. The the well, scientific hand analysis is all the hand. Like it's the, it is the it's it's the palmistry or the best piece of palmistry plus the scientific developments, which the fingerprints never change. So you actually you know more about the lines and the shape and more about our personality. Which you know I remember. Do you know what Michelle? This is so funny. I oh, just a uh, I uh, have to be <laughs> cluttering in this time, right? What else am I going to do? I know there's yeah. other things just to clear my space and so new things can come in. Yes. And I, every single reading that I have, the ones that really, the really affect me, right? So yes. and my trainings. And I remember coming back after, I think maybe a level one, and then you were doing palmistry course, right? Ah. I found those notes here and <laughs> I was shredding lots of things. I went, no, I'm going to keep those. But I looked at them and it's like, yeah, it's the, you know, the lines, the shapes, I show the personality, but your soul, what your yeah. soul has come here to do is in the fingerprints. And we need all of that put together and somebody who can you know, articulate that in a way that you understand. Yeah. You know, so I have had readings from different people, not just with hands, but, and I'm like, oh, I don't quite understand that, but it's like, yeah. you know, you need it so that it can land to you. you yeah, land to absolutely. You. Yeah, there's so many different parts to it. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we might go and see. I'm trying to, uh, you know, I've got to sort of manoeuvre uh, all these different things. I'm trying to have a look at who is on. Um, I don't know why this has taken me to a completely different section here. But if you can see uh, some questions there before me, we're also going to talk about. Uh, so Luann's got her, um, you know, you've got your purpose and passion cards. You've got us uh, on purpose yes. cards. You've got a bunch of cards, actually. We're just going to, we'll we'll pull some readings for some of you. Uh, but I love those cards. I love, uh, Luann, tell us the story of creating those cards because I love how all of the cards start with the letter P. They do. And it was, <laughs> I, you know, I just, and that's part of my purpose is to create, right? So I went into the Goddess Shed, which was a beautiful shed, really just gorgeous and just sat there and I thought I'm going to write my book and I thought I'm going to write my book and channel that and I started just writing the chapters what I thought were the chapters but each word just came out with was a p word like of course purpose path peace proactive cycle. wow and how many cards in the deck 
There's 40, I actually had 44, but I think, or 46, but I think there's 44 that are actually published that we've actually used. Wow, um, beautiful, 44. Yeah. yeah, and I did write all the chapters for them, but instead of, you know, doing it as a book, um, I mean, the Oracle books here as well, I did them as cards because it was just, it was just a beautiful creative expression and, and I've just used them in different courses and, yeah. you know, and readings and, yeah, so, yeah, that's how they came about. I love it. I love it. 44 cards. They all start yeah. with P they and do. it was just channeled. It just kind of came through. I love it. Yes, they were just channeled. And it was kind of like I was talking to, I mean, there's the word goddess on there, you know, a couple of times. It doesn't matter if you're a woman or if, um, man, that, that's still for you. Um, but it was as if I was talking to, yeah. The, the, the goddess it's like this is you know yeah it's like yeah. Here's card, michelle here it is you know here's the yeah. um if this can help you and to support i get it you. absolutely right now i can't uh i'm not uh, i'm not being uh, right there we go okay fair enough beautiful i finally got it oh look at johnny retro welcome back johnny oh, <laughs> um we've got johnny asking some questions uh oh, beautiful and he said amazing hand analysis and uh, numerology Kim hello hello um okay well we might see what, what uh, comes comes up and out for Johnny um and you know in terms of numerology this is uh, a universal year for Luann so how oh, okay. how funny is that you know number four being all about foundations and I did say at the start of the year without knowing that this you know that this was coming but uh, I did say that you know any and all structures that uh, were, were, you know, past their use by date uh, would crumble. And, uh, you know, um, in order for new structures to be, uh, uh, to be built. So look, uh, you know, look where we are now. So, mm -hmm. but, you know, if you're out there and you want to uh, work out your personal number for uh, 2020, everybody, it's just your birth date plus your birth month plus that number four. Universal year number four. What are you in, uh, Lou? I think I'm well, in. You're one plus eight. three, which is four. Yeah. Is that right? Your achievement is four there and four plus four. Oh, you're in the eight. That's right. You're in the eight, yeah. which is beautiful. Which is so uh, for you with the, <laughs> and, and then eight plus um, April. So eight, number eight plus four is three. So April is a, a personal month number three for you. So what have I got there? I've got uh, own your power own your powers so you know especially uh, during uh, you know this time of uh, of, of corona um the number three is the creativity so and you would know this anyway lou that the more you step into your power the more um creativity is available in that big well of, yeah. um, of creativity where all the uh, great ideas come from have you ever noticed that that when you are really feeling empowered there's just no no shortage of what you can create and and and, and cope with yeah absolutely and, and my, i think my life purpose number is three as well so whenever i see that it, and i am stepping up this month it's showing up you know that last month was like not being quiet just just reflecting and you know seeing the foundations like you say in the form yeah. okay so that's sort of sort of perfect that you said that three is like come out now like now you can yes yes up. april is absolutely that number three so in actual fact even though you know we're going through trying times it's actually going to be yeah you're going to have more people stuff going on you're going to have more activity more of that creativity more of that uh, um well you know you're actually going to be more in that enjoy in that enjoyment you know it's in the energy of creating so and that's always a lot of fun isn't it all right well let's see lou let's see what comes up for johnny okay show so we're pulling a card each, is that what we do? We're pulling a card, yeah, you pull a card, I'll pull a card. He is, um, I'd be interested to know what your um, what your uh, personal year number is, Johnny. So add your day plus uh, your day plus month to the number four and tell me. Um, and he's, um, um, I ask about my finances, will they improve in the short term? Well, we'll see what we, see what kind of card we pull. We'll see what card we pull for you, Johnny, and uh, and how you could actually, what you could actually do to improve it. Mm. Yay! Okay. Wow. So, what have you got, Michelle? Do you want me to go first? Right. Yes. Yes. Let me see. What can I pull? I've got uh, the two of us have got cards everywhere at the moment, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get my numbers card out because uh, Johnny likes the uh, the hands and the um, hands and the numbers. Right. What have you got going on? 
Okay, so I've got, I've just pulled two of the same deck. Like I actually just redid read these. Like that was my original back of them and I republished them with them. Oh, one. yay. So I'm doing two if that's okay. That's great. The first one for Johnny is parent, right? There's a thing, yes. And I love this because it's finger painting on the actual artwork here. She drew it with um, finger paint. And it says, you are a wonderful parent to the children you have. Guide them gently with all the wisdom you hold. And the other hat, the other card, and I don't know, John, if you are a parent, um, but even if you are not, this is about parenting yourself. Yes. Right? And that um, when I see the practice card, I'm going to pull these together, the practice card is reaching out, you know, um, in a yoga pose almost and it says it's mm. time to practice what you preach you have beautiful wisdom within daily practices upon you so when i see these it's like yeah what i what it is about practicing what you preach, like going within and every time i hear that you know, sometimes i even have to laugh at myself and like, oh god we have to go in again you know <laughs> but that's kind of almost my mind like let's yes. just see the action and we always we want to fix something we want to do 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 but now and of course in these times it's going within right? absolutely you with yourself um i hope that makes sense to you yeah mm. yeah yeah. I love it. And then funnily, you just had uh, the, you just had the parent um, and I've got the five and six and six is very much uh, six is the, the, the parent, the nurturer, um, five, six, I've got relationship change. So I'm going to say that, uh, look, that may apply on an outer level, Johnny, but more likely in line with what uh, Luann just said. Um, uh, just the card Luann's, the cards Luann pulled for you. It's more likely a change in the relationship that you have with yourself. So, uh, you know, I think, Luann, you and I were talking before we went live about how this is really the time um, that we all have to, uh, you know, get back to our roots. It really has to be what is this truly about? Like uh, we're stripped bare. And um, so, you know, in this in this session, I think of, um, of the Woo Woo series, um, let's not sugarcoat it, Johnny. It's about a relationship change. It's about actually stepping up and the five and the six there, mm -hmm. 11, one plus one becomes two. And again, two is all about relationships as well. So how are you nurturing yourself on, in a level? Because as I just said to, uh, to Luann about the, uh, the number eight, you know, when you are in the energy of eight, it's only by owning your power that you, that you unleash Mm. you unleash the, um, the, the the powerful potential in that number to move forward at a rapid rate and yeah. it's the same with uh, the number two in numerology when you are actually nurturing yourself and um, oh, I was listening to Elizabeth Gilbert today she just said so much that was awesome but one of them was uh, you know it doesn't matter what's happening on an outer level uh, this is who you are and she pointed to her heart this is who you are and this is where you live and um, so during this time of not being able to control the outer, you know, it's, we need to nurture our heart. We need to fill our heart. We need to forgive. Number six is very much about forgiveness in numerology. Number five is about letting go. So you know what? What do you need to let go of to uh, be better here and, and move forward? Number five is be in the energy of possibility. Be yeah. in the energy of what else is possible. Okay, number five is, um, is, is also letting go. Number five is also being able to trust and take a risk and take a chance, yeah? And then number six is, um, as Lou said, you know, finding that different way. It's about stepping up. You know, when mum died, Luann, when mum died, as I said, it's about the woo-woo, right? And we never know what we're going to talk about until we get on here. Mm -hmm. But when mum died, it was quite sudden. It was a long time of mum not being quite right. Um, and mum's sort of not being that generation that, you know, that they were pretty tough. They don't like to make a fuss. Uh, they trust the doctors perhaps a little bit more than she should have. She should have got a second and third opinion, but she didn't. Um, and after a year of not being well, she then, it was then diagnosed um, lung cancer and she was gone quite suddenly. Uh, but before she, she had a minor stroke and was in hospital, and when I went to see her in hospital, there was a real moment, Lou, when I opened the curtains and there was a couple of, of nurses in there with her. Mm. And, um, and you know how confronting that is? I opened the curtain and there was my mum, not sort of like my mum, but like mm. someone who, you know, she was very vulnerable and um, she had a minor stroke and there were two people um, sort of there, you know, helping her. And I stepped back. It was really confronting. I sort of, went to go through and then I stepped back 
and then I and then just as I did that, it just came over me, and and I thought, you know what, that's my mum in there, mm. and uh, and I have to I have to grow up. I have to step up now into a new level of me. I had to pull myself up into um, the matriarch and the adult and go in there and help my mum. So, Johnny, I think that's where you're at. I've spoken too long, but does that... <laughs> well, I love that too. I just, I just want to add something there, Michelle, too, because I pulled this Persephone oil for him, and it kind of it, it adds to yours. Persephone is all about the queen of the underworld, right? It is, yes, look at the underworld, the shadow. Yes. And from that shadow, just have a good look and be real, like you said, and then yes. you'll, you'll come up. It'll be revealed to you. So Yes, absolutely. I love it. Oh, bit of uh, a bit of uh, playback there. So, Johnny, that's our advice to you: that uh, it's time to parent yourself in a whole new way. Time to pull yourself up into a new you that uh, you've never been before, and think less about uh, how can I make. Think less about uh, where's the money coming from. You know how how am I going to survive? Be more in the energy of creating money. Mm. Be more in the energy of possibilities. Be more in the energy with that too, too, Luann. Be yeah. more in the energy of how can I partner up with others? Yeah, absolutely. Love right? It. There's yeah. so many ways, isn't there, Lou? There, there are. There are a lot of ways. And, I mean, it's, it is it's just having that quiet time to let them come in, right? When we keep going seeking, seeking, trying it out there, it, it doesn't show up as easily. I mean, it can show up. But, again, just going in. Just going up. in. Mm. And Johnny did say, yes, number four is the death of old and bring in the new. This is my three-year. Ah, my three-year heading into four. Excellent. Well, if it's a three-year, then this year is definitely about the creativity. But April is a seven a seven months. So I've actually got on my board there a few notes that I made before we came on. Go deeper. And just what Luann said, in the quiet, I've got in the quiet, new ideas come. Mm. <laughs> and trust. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, okay, we've got uh, Hi Trees, Teresa, Hi Ladies from New Zealand. Well, that's where hey, Lou's from. That's where I'm from. Yes, you will see the, the copy over there. Yes. I saw how you posted uh, a, a pic of your mum today. Oh my god! Speaking of mums, yes, the afro, I love it. You know, the the, the mullet's back. Why not the afro? Like, come on! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, so, oh, we've got a, a, a few lovely ladies. Lots of lovely ladies. Ah, oh, Merende, I'm a life path eight. Uh -huh. Beautiful, Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn. Uh, Gabby says hi, Kim. Uh, Kim's number eight. We've got Wendy. Okay, who do you want to? Um, uh, Debbie. Hello, 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 ladies. Uh, let's pick one. Uh, Lou, if you pick one for Evelyn, is there a card for me, please? So she doesn't have a question, just um, just a card. Card for Evelyn. And I'm talking when I do these. These are for your purpose, okay? So wonderful, Evelyn. Hey, okay, and we have got. I'm just going to take an oil too. That's a good way to do it, Lou. You do purpose, and I'll do what's holding them back. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> Go hard. Poor. So this it says poor, P-O-U-R, and it says pour all your love on the situation before you now. It will come back tenfold. Open the floodgates and express. And then there's this beautiful woman pouring out the water and the oil. Love I'm it. also using these God Essence oils. And this is the God Essence Ishtar, which is really relates to the sacral area. So for me, it's creativity. What, what do you want to create right now? And also... I know these times, um, you know, they, they're, they're tough, right? Let's just say they're tough, but they're, they're mm -hmm. showing us something, I mean, from a spiritual perspective and not need to go into that, but I mean, I'm sure you're, you're on there, you know, the reason why, or you have a feeling, but this is, this is telling me that you are here to create something and to also lighten up a little bit, right? Yeah. So I just feel grabbing, not grabbing, just, Right, it just has to be perfect, but it doesn't. Just have fun with it. And it's just all about fun, you know, having fun, letting go, letting go, and it's beautiful. So that's sounds great. Sounds great. Well, while I'm shuffling for um, Evelyn to see what's holding her back, Lou, tell us about uh, the the Hand Analysis Hand Analysis Academy. Sure. So I've just launched the Australian Hand Analysis Academy. And it is a place you don't have to live in Australia to come and learn hand analysis, but I do. So that's why I called it that. 
And it's a place where I want to teach, you know, for those who are called to, to be of service and help others with their life purpose. So it, I'll be training you to do your own hand analysis readings for other people. Wow. And specifically great if you're, you know, if you're a coach or a healer, you know, or um, Absolutely. a consultant, because I mean, part of my other work is I do help women especially express their life purpose through business right yeah. like a healing business or coaching consulting and I always do their hands because first I know what their life purpose is I know what their foundation is and yes life lesson which is kind of the block so mm. I through there and you know I put this off for a long time you know if I'm like no there's, there's other people doing that and there, there actually are not that many people in the world teaching this right so not i think uh, yeah very very few in australia very few i think you i think you know some some ladies doing it in the u.s but yes, i don't yes, know anybody yeah. doing it other than you yeah and so i just had to in those quiet times go oh do i really need to teach people you know i'm, I'm busy doing other things right <laughs> books, you know, helping people and it's like, no. yes it was kind of like the goddess shared so i did goddess training yes. so other women would go out and it's it's time now i think it's time now so that's a place where we can exactly. come and learn and you know, for yourself first and foremost like do it for yourself you don't have to go and do other readings if you don't want to but you get a yeah. you know exactly what your purpose is so. yeah i love it i love it now what did we get uh so we got seven okay nature Wow. Nature, seven plus four, so seven plus four is 11. I can say there that uh, there'd be trust issues, um, Evelyn holding you back. There might be control issues holding you back there with seven and four. Seven and four becomes 11 and, uh, and it could be sensitivity as well. And then one plus one is two and fear of confrontation. Uh, or, or, you know, with the number two and the high level of sensitivity, it can be that uh, it can be that we hide. I, I can recall, uh, Lou, I was talking to someone a couple of months ago who actually, uh, you know, powerful healer and said, uh, you know, actually I hide from, from confrontation. And when she said that, I went, oh, okay, and you want to be seen, mm -hmm. right? You want to be seen. Mm -hmm. So like Lou said before with Johnny, the reading that we did uh, for Johnny Evelyn, that it's always about the shadow aspects. I mean, it's great to hear the great things about ourselves, but again, as Lou said, in hand analysis, you've got uh, the lesson. Mm -hmm. And actually it's that, isn't it, Lou? You've got to, mm -hmm. and in numerology, it's the challenge numbers and the, and the past life fears. If you overcome that, all the stuff you're already good, great and wonderful at, just go like that, just works. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah. So I would, I would be, that's what I'd be thinking about uh, Evelyn, um, following on from Lou's, Lou's reading with the creativity. You know, there's so much creativity available to you. You can actually create the life that uh, you dream about. However, however, you've got to be able to trust. You've got to be able to let go and you've got to be able to uh, come out of hiding. Yeah. And I, and I think that's a big thing for a lot of healers, you know, in this, you know, I call them alchemists as well. It's that hiding piece. And, you know, because it is part of my lesson as well, right? It, it's the yes. power. It's like giving that power away. And, you know, you flip that, that is actually what you're here to, to teach others. Because yeah, exactly, Lou, because you and I both come from having been, we both had numerology. I think we both yes. had um, a, a challenge yeah. of two. Yeah. So we both come from being as children, shy and, and, and sensitive and, in, and more, more introvert, mm. Um, mm. you know. So how did you do it? What kept... What kept bringing you more and more out of that? I, I think, oh, I just always knew there was something else. So I don't, mm. when I started getting into the spiritual world, because I just totally turned it off, right? I totally turned it off. And I think yeah. when I was younger, it was there. You probably were the same. You'd kind of yeah. freak out to people and then you go, no, that's not how Definitely. we do it anymore, right? Shut that down. It wasn't until I had you know, a bit of a health issue with the brain tumour. I'm like, oh, mm. there's be more to this, right? So I was out there trying to be successful, trying to, you know, left school, uh, left home at 16 or kind of pushed out gently. Um, it's like, so that independence, right? I had to learn that independence to stand up and then come to Australia and, mm. you know, all these kinds of challenges. Um, but, yeah, through all of that, it's, mm. I just started to do the Reiki, do the numerology, do NLP, just learn about myself, which is a school of service thing, right? But you, you're you very similar, your school of love, but you do it in a different way, right? Yeah. So it's just like, give it to me. When you're ready, it'll come. come. And I didn't 
want to know about goddesses. I didn't even know what a goddess was, right? But you just, yeah. like, I was blinded. I was like, oh, I, what, are, what are these things called chakras? I'm like, yeah. and I'm like, give it to me. Yeah, I love it, love yeah. it. So it was, yeah. yeah. So it was never a purposeful. We didn't set out to be to become anything. We just actually set off in the direction of our curiosity. Yes, yes, and and the joy that comes from that, you know, it's it, the, I think we loved it. Joy, yeah, the joy. That's actually all we're here to do, right? We don't yeah. have to put it into a business. We can, but we could be just as you know happy at yeah. home. Right. And, and then, for many years, it was just yeah. for me, for many years, it was just my own personal thing. It was just my hobby. I didn't think for the life of me that it would grow into something that uh, I could do, mm. build a business around and offer as a service. And actually, physically, I'd always wanted to help people, mm. but I never knew how yeah. I would do that because I didn't stay at uni. I didn't become a psychologist or a social worker or any of those things I thought I could have been or wanted to be. Right. Yeah, so isn't it interesting? I love it. Okay, yeah. who are we reading for? Having a beautiful chat here. I'm forgetting that. Uh, <laughs> and also, Lou, I love it. You know, just explain actually the four different schools. So from, sure. from your hand, from your fingerprints, uh, yeah. ladies and gents, Luanne can tell what school yes. um, we all belong to. And then that actually, that actually explains a lot about ourselves just in that component. Yeah. Yeah, it does. So there's four different schools and they are the school of love, the school of service, the school of peace and the school of wisdom. And each of the school, to me, that's our path. So, you know, the earth is for our, this is our university, right? We're here to experience and learn. And, and I like to, my belief is we choose one before we come in. Some people are in two schools some people so they have twice as, as as much there so you come in you've got a spiritual commitment what what yeah. kind of role level you've come here you know, what you've committed to coming here to do right yeah. and then you've got a you've got a core fear which is a thing that's like oh it's like that's teaching you something as well right and then you have a spiritual promise so if i go for like the school of love if i can yes school of that's love, me that's you. Um, I'm school of service, and there's no hi hierarchy in any of these schools, right? We just chose, and I think we, yeah. we've got parts of each school in us anyway. But this is the one that we've come to master this time. So, school of love, you are here to connect with everybody and look at what you've done, Michelle. Like I love what you've done. It's connecting. They yeah. love to connect with people. They love deep conversation. So this is only a little, a little. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you'll go, it's like, let's not talk about logic. How are you feeling? Right? Tell yes. Me, you know, what are you? And you're here to connect with others and be emotionally vulnerable. Yeah. Which is like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. really? Like you have to actually feel your feelings and then share yes. them. Um, That's so true. Or fear of a school of love person is being rejected, criticized and not. Beautiful. Loved. Right, so here's yeah. on one hand, you're here to just be so open, and then your core fear is they're going to hate me or they, I'm going to hurt yeah. someone. Yeah. But your actual promise is, if you work through that and come from your heart, which you you can mm. you do, and mm. clients, I'm sure that is like, oh, I didn't really come from my heart, I just went bam. But when you do and connect and then look at that emotion, and go, oh, okay, I'm I'm just sharing with you now. They're like, oh, yeah, I actually understand. Yeah. You have unconditional love. Like your promise is to have unconditional love for yourself and others. And that's really what you're here to connect with, you know, other people. And, you know, it's like you claim people, like, oh, come in here, come and come. Yeah, here. No, yeah. I want to love you. Yeah. So that's yeah. just one of the schools. Um, so I would, that awesome. really, yeah, you know, I would really work with the fear of rejection part. If, if something's coming up in your life, it's like, oh, okay, I don't want to upset somebody right because they might not like me it's like no they'll be okay no, learn yeah. to say no it's okay yeah yeah, yeah. boundaries mm. i love it and it ties in with the numerology and numerology i've got two seven um two seven and nine are my past life fears and seven is a uh, past life fear of being um shamed hurt and betrayed wow wow yeah <laughs> which is just a new thing I've only learned over the over the past sort of 12 months and uh yeah and also Lou I've also got with my hands I've also got powerlessness yes yes right so have I right so as your lesson so the lesson yeah. our blind spot just those and the blind spot if you're not looking at it right really what you're here to to learn is what you're here to teach and you talk a lot about power and so do I it's like become empowered enough so you can show up. Yes. Uh, you know yes. what it's like to be held and be kept small and yeah. You know, so but once you do it, 
you know, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, right. And yeah, it's just, it's, be it's a beautiful thing. I, I love it. it. I love the lesson the most, really. I love it. And for the audience in Spiritual Events Directory Land, Luann's actually, we've got so many complimentary uh, ways that uh, you can all get so much more of a glimpse into uh, to you, yourself, your life. We posted the link, but we'll post the link again after our session. Uh, Luann's got a fabulous uh, quiz that you can all just uh, click on and do uh, just to get more insight into uh, into the goddess. Yes. And Johnny, you can do it too. We've got some great feedback from Johnny uh, too, Lou. Oh, awesome. awesome. Johnny says, uh, the shadow is the high priestess. I have a young spirit in me. And what you ladies have mentioned is letting me know that it's time to uh, now to step up and show true leadership as I'm destined to do. Mm. All reflected from my past. Yes, I am a parent for the first time. And my connection with my three-year-old is blossoming. Gabrielle is so much an old soul and so uncanny, uh, receptive with the psyche. Numbers are such a powerful tool. It's time to grow with the equation. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. Oh, that's lovely. Now, Kim's asked, Kim, uh, may I please have a card about love? Oh, okay. Let's see what we can uh, draw for you, Kim, about love. Ooh. It always goes too quickly. I know, I know. I hope this is not loud. I'm going to put some oil. Oh, okay. Okay, so do you want me to go first? Yeah, you go. So this is for Kim. For so Kim. The card I've got for you, Kim, is protection. Ooh. Protection. And it's, I always love this, is kind of like reminds me of Archangel Michael, his protection, his wings, his sword. And it says you are protected right now, goddess. All the goddess sisters are gathering around you, supporting your every wish. And wow. the oil that you have is actually called Nut. And Nut is the goddess who, you know, she, she helps us find our bliss as she flies. And it's around the crown chakra. So when I get this, both of these together, this feels like you're, with love, it's you're protecting your heart too much. Right, so there's also this note is about mm. the crown but you're overthinking it. It's all clouded up here, mm. and just to just to be open, it, it's okay. And 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 not or nut, we 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 say it, you know how we nut things out. It's like oh, no, yes, we want to get love, <laughs> but know that you are protected. But it's kind of like you, there's mm. this building. To me, it's protection the other way. It's like oh, I want love, but oh, I've been hurt before, and yes. So this wall, it's okay just to start to open it just a little bit. You don't have to go open it right up, but Love let it. people in. And it was interesting. We talked about school of love for you, Michelle. So it's yes. that whole rejection, that whole, but you yes. are loved, are protected and just connecting yeah. to, to that. So that's what that's I That's like the uh, Queen of, I think it's the Queen of Swords in uh, Tarot, you know, where she beckons with one hand and pushes away with right. the other. Yes, yes, yes. So I got um, so we got six and seven and six and seven thirteen and one plus three equals four and it's physical activity um, and and I was just uh, when I was feeling into that I thought uh, you know uh, as Lou just said with the goddesses you know that um, so if it's about love I'm not sure if you're looking for love if you're in love and wondering what's going on with the relationship that you're in or um, but in any case I think this card says to me to return to the body. Mm. Turn to the body and where are you at um you know how intimate how intimate are you with your body you know do you talk to your body how how do you express your body uh, is there freedom in that lou mentioned uh with um not uh and the school of love number six again number six is all about the heart so again yeah. if we're looking for love if we're in love and and wondering about the love we're in or if we're looking for it in my experience uh it's only ever as good as where my heart is at mm. so you know again as lou said when i'm sitting in the the rejected uh side of that school of love then i'm going to attract nothing but rejection um and and so yeah if it's about love then i want you to go back to the body i want you to go back to your heart i want you to go back to the number seven again is about trust okay mm -hmm. we we are all we all go through heartache and heart heartbreak and we all get uh we, we all get betrayed in some shape or form yeah. uh, what are you holding on to there 
Yeah. What are you holding on to? Uh, what's, what's, yeah, what's, as Margie would say, what's heavy in the body? And if you start to focus on that and let go of that, there's some forgiveness there. There's some trust that needs to happen there. There's some into me, see, okay, become more intimate with yourself and uh, your body, your heart. Uh, and then you'll move into, um, but, but six plus seven, 13, one plus three becomes four. There's some work to do. Isn't there, Lou? I mean, everything's about work. We only get out of it the effort that we put in. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and work, like I love work, right? Not, just depends what it is, right? But, you know, if you love your work, if you keep loving working on yourself, then it's not as hard as it needs to be. You know, I, I think we, we really do make things a lot harder. We for do. Our you know um we really do i love how you put that there that uh yeah you know it's working on yourself so i hope that that's answered uh, a little bit of something uh, there for you uh kim we've got uh, trees so trees teresa card for good vibes please for lockdown and for my family okay well let's see what we can what card we pull out for you by uh, trees and what direction is going to lead us uh, into uh, for you Shirley Ann said, hi guys, you both have a beautiful smile. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Awesome. I want two for trees. Okay. So I've got two cards. They're the same deck, of course, but the first one is picture. And the second one is positive tree. So the first one is picture. What vision do you see for yourself and your purpose? Do you see it with clarity? It's time to draw the perfect picture and to hold on to that vision. And then there's positives to stay positive. I mean, you know, we're all, we're all trying to stay positive. And yeah. um, to stay positive, goddess, the situation will change and the outcome will be in your favour. So I've also been, you know, for me in this downtime, just what's coming to me, like reading new books and, um, you know, if just going going a little bit deeper on, on the spiritual level. Yeah. And this is all about creation, right? Like kind of like we, what you said before, Kim, it's like um, what you can, we, can, we are masters of creativity, creation. We are. Right? What we think about you know, is what we create. And even though we're banging on the same thing, it's like be really... Not to say be careful, but still be playful with it. Because I've got the Ishtar, the orange, the chakra, again, the creation, right? This is saying, yeah. paint that you know, physically paint the picture if you want to. Do a hand, you know, um, do a hand paint. I just feel like you're getting all messy and, you know, yeah. everywhere. but be joyful in that and hold that vision for what it is. Yeah. And hold it, but then let it go. Mm. Uh, you need to picture it it's like okay and just expect it to come because it will come when you and let it come and land with you yeah everything's positive hold that picture and have fun yeah, yeah fantastic and ladies uh we're going to post uh, as i said we'll post some links we've got a fabulous quiz that um that you can do courtesy of uh of luann luann's got a fabulous group that you can come into the goddess uh the goddess group and be supported by uh you know uh, so many fantastic women all you know all at different uh different parts of the journey we're all it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how long you've been on this journey it is a journey and we're all somewhere somewhere on it and we can all help each other i like to say you know if it's time for you to reach out reach out and someone will be reaching back for you um and and you know you've got spiritual events directory but you've also got our wellness community so honestly reach out and um because this is not uh, lou this is just the beginning of um again i'm going to quote elizabeth gilbert this morning uh trees who said you know what um we don't know how the world is going to be changed but we do know that the world will be changed and you know what that's what the world does that's the job of the world yeah. the, the world's job is to change it's always changing it's different cycles different yep. things going on at different times this is a big massive one um but you know um that's the job of the world so it is going to be changed and we have no control over that it's not our job but our job is to do as lou was saying our job mm -hmm. is what's within our control is to work on us whilst that's working um itself out and what is the angel saying for you let's see beautiful embrace change 
The angels applaud your willingness to embrace change with acceptance and maturity. So it's been a tough day for you, Therese, uh, Therese, Therese, Teresa. But Lou, you've got two kids. So, you know, your, your children are, are teenagers. I suppose they're a bit more self-sufficient. But uh, as you said, there's so many different things that uh, you can do during this time. Yeah, yeah, there are, and I and I love you know you said that Elizabeth, but it's also you know we're all walking each other home, right? We, I love that. Uh, I love, love that saying. Reach out to the different communities, you know. Yes. We, I just have, you know, you're on this because we've been we've done this before in some other lifetime or some probably on the at the same time, right? Yes. We do it all at the at the once, but we get to create this because we do have free will. So be okay. We're gonna I love how you just said that because that's it. And, and I, you know, I had that from years ago. I thought, uh, I, it, and again, I was saying this the other day, I don't know why we don't, uh, why there's always comparison. We always compete, compare, and it's always about right or wrong. I popped a little something in the community and I had, you know, someone sort of uh, arc up about it. And I thought, why did we do that? Like, it's not one way or the other way. It can be always um different ways everything you know everything resonates so differently with different people and i love i've always loved the stories of um i've always loved stories anyway i've always listened to other people's stories and i love the stories of all the bands right rolling stones bon jovi so many of them and how they all began before and then someone new came into the band or something happened and that's when it took off right and it's not to say it wasn't due to any one person. It was a particular mix of people that all came together at the same time. It was a contract they signed on for before they even got here. Yeah, yeah. Um, right? yes, absolutely. Total, yeah. So yeah. why is it that no one appreciates that? You know, we are all, we are all, I love the saying that, um, that we are all special. And you know what? We're all the same. Mm -hmm. No one is more than anybody else. And everybody is unique. Yeah, and I, I think Michelle, we're all at different levels of, of coming to that, though, right? Like, yes. you know, some people are like, oh, I'll be triggered by something. It's like, oh, I shouldn't really be doing that, but hey, I'm still human. But we, <laughs> and so that person, you know, triggering, um, you use yes. triggers. Like, oh, well, everybody gets to to see that too. We go, how do that's they so that? true, and that's, that's what I love. Amazing. That's yeah. yeah, and I'd love us to have more conversations about that. More conversations about the fact that everything that happens is an opportunity to grow somehow. You know, I had a moment, uh, a moment of, of, and I love this about my journey that I'll always have a little, as you say, get triggered, have a little moment, be a little princess. And then lo and behold, within very quickly, I'm in their shoes, I'm in a similar situation and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I oh, get it. God. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, learning opportunity. Thank you. Yes. I love yes. Uh, Kim. So Kim said, thank you, lovely. She's looking for love. Her true love uh, passed away. So Kim, I hope that that, uh, that really helped you. Um, okay. So oh, we've got a few. Let's see who, who, who's ready. Who's, who's in need, who, uh, who are we reading for next? Thank you, ladies. Our tree said that she's looking after her, looking after my mental, physical health alone without problems from others out of my control. Yep, absolutely. You can only, um, thank you. I've been self-isolated alone. I'm finding myself after years of being more creative with my life. I'm enjoying my time alone doing the stuff around the house. Yep, and coming to all of our groups, Trees, honestly, you know, uh, what I love about this time is physically we are um, we are more isolated, but you know what? I mean, look at all those beautiful stories coming around. People are connecting like they've never connected in years. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it's spending more time with the kids, you know, with the partner and everything. exactly. It's all up and it's all for us to embrace and, and exactly. You know. Mm. Mm. All right, we've got um Bernadette. Hello, lovely ladies. Could I please have a card? She's struggling with her next move. Okay, let's see. I'm using a new deck now. These are the wonderful. I love these. Okay, I'm actually going to pull one of mine too. Her next move. Next move, and that was for Bernadette. Okay, so Bernadette, the, I love these cards. The first card I have that I pulled out is Courage. Huh, the next oh. move. 
I know. I look at it and she, she's kind of like, she's got a drum there and she's she's beating it. So it's, Love I mean, it. you need to beat your own drum now. And it says, I live life passionately and courageously. So you know, it doesn't have to, and when I say that, it doesn't have to be huge sweeping, you know, activity, but it could be. It's it's your choice. Mm. It's it's encouraged me. It's even just voicing what you want to do to somebody who can hold that for you yeah. as well. You know, sometimes we say, oh, I'm going to do this, and we it kind of falls on the wrong ear sometimes, and you say comparison and other things there, but have the courage to get the support or if it's just somebody you know, listening to you. And then the other card was project, or ah! project, right? And it says, take a moment to project in your mind's eye all the abundance you deserve. It's truly yours if you reach out and take hold of it now. So it's courage to work on the project that you want. Love you want it. Now. Yes, it's a yes. I love that eye too. I know, the all seeing eye. <laughs> And we've got the angel of kindness. The angels applaud the acts of kindness that you perform regularly for others and your thoughtful, caring communication style. Well, that's pretty lovely, isn't it? And I love how you said that, Lou, that it's not about, uh, we always think it has to be these big sweeping, these big moments. And, and uh, you know, courage is in all the little moments you do something that you couldn't, didn't, wouldn't have done before. Yeah. You know, every time, every time I was able to uh, speak up more in a conversation was an act of courage and was a moment that I kind of went, oh, well done. You've got to, you've got to be kind to yourself too, don't you? Do. It ha ha always, always, you know. Always. Yeah. Pat yourself on the back, Bernadette. Mm. Pat yourself on the back. Um, okay, who have we got? Uh, we'll do, you know, we want to do a couple more here, ladies. Uh, Margaret Curry. Could I please have a card? Uh, Evelyn said, thank you. Awesome. Oh, thank you for watching, ladies. Got so many beautiful ladies. Natalie, Linda, uh, Irene, Mirendi. Mirendi, she's life path. I met Mirendi said she was life path eight. Lockdown week two. So trees, was trees in New Zealand? Lockdown week two. Hmm. Some countries are sort of more in lockdown than we are, aren't they? New Zealand's in, in four, aren't they, already? And have been since last week. They were right, mm. yeah. It doesn't okay. look around over there. She does not look around. Mm. I love her, though. Yeah, me too. I think she's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So who does say we're reading for? Margaret? Um, Margaret. Margaret Curry? Margaret? Margaret Curry, beautiful. Okay. All right, Margaret. Here, Margaret, here we go. We'll see what uh, Lou... Margaret didn't give us a, she just wants a card. Mm -hmm. See what Lou come, come, comes okay. out with for you. Or do you want me to go first, Lou? You can go first. I'll see what, I'll yeah. see what the angels say. Put it around a bit. Oh, money is about to manifest. The angels ask that you feel the marvelous feeling of anticipation as you are about to receive an abundance of money. Mm. Okay, Margaret, we'll see how that... Uh, We'll see uh, how that pans out. I always like to think that uh, if not money, money to me is an energy. It's a form of energy. It's all about uh, prosperity. And, uh, and you know, we can be, I can be prosperous in, in any moment. I can be prosperous in, I can be rich in how I think, in how I feel. You know, I can be grateful. I can, um, you know, sort of really focus on, on you can always focus on, or you always have the choice really life is wonderful or life is garbage so to me prosperity is when i'm really sitting in a rich mindset a rich emotional life and i'm focused on everything that is good that is great that is wonderful yeah beautiful i love that and i got the card permeate to card so that is that beautiful spiral kind of reminds you yeah. of labyrinth and as you're going internal it's it's it, it, there's more juiciness and more yeah yeah and it says you know to to permeate the project that you're working on right now with love and joy it will, it will flow easily and then i've got strength for you I wow like holding the whole world up there right love it strength for you you have deep inner strength and glorious vitality so that's around the richness of your life i love these two beautiful that's great yeah. wow Okay, who's next? We've got uh, 
Du, 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 du. We've got. Oh, awesome, Bernadette. That was very helpful, she said. Oh, beautiful. That is really, thank you for the feedback. It's great to have feedback. Okay, uh, Mary McAllister, would love to know what the future holds for me. We'll draw a couple of cards for you too. Mary McAllister. And Justine, if we get time, Mary and Justine. And oh, Lou, you were saying that you had uh, a complimentary, uh, a fabulous complimentary um, little program coming up. What's that? What's Good. that one about? Yes, oh, sure. Thank you for, for letting me share that. It's called Reawaken Your Purpose. So it's a five day online virtual course. So it's totally free. And I'm going to go through, you know, it might be just like a half an hour um, teaching about your purpose. So you can. You know, it's challenging right now for many. So, and I think a lot of a lot of us just want to go to sleep. But now is not. We were talking before. It's like now yes. it's time to go to sleep. Now it's time to to wake yeah. up and 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 show up. So it's just about to. So I'm going to go all things hand analysis. Yeah. Over the five days, and then on the last day, I'm actually going to for anybody who wants to send me photos of their hands, <gasps> I'm going to do free readings for everybody who sends them to me. So just fantastic. Um, could come up with your path or your lesson or, or just a line like or gift marking so that's what I'm, I'm going to be doing Love it. today so the link's there yeah we might even stay on uh, we might even stay on 10 minutes more and do yeah. a couple of quick readings in the community yeah. but just uh, mention that one in the community okay. that would be awesome that yeah. sounds great getting a complimentary um reading there at the end of it that's yeah. awesome yeah okay so who we're ready for was it mary this for Mary. Did you have a question, Michelle? Did Mary give us a question or was she just interested in what was next? Let me have a look. Mary, would love to know what the future holds. Oh, it was a big, broad... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love questions like that. <laughs> so, Mary, do you want me to go first? The first yes, go. I got for you, Mary, was potent, right? You're potent. Your energy is potent right now, which wow. is beautiful. As is your energy is very potent right now, breathe into it, then release it fully into the world. You're attracting wonderful things to you right now. And you got the, the oil, Kali, which is base, right? Base and, and Kali, the, this oil is all about, you can be quite fierce, right? You're potent, you're quite fierce, you can be quite fierce, but not in your energy, just be fierce in the way that you want to claim this. And, and the base chakra is all about security. So it's building that foundation, which you said too, Michelle, we keep going over that foundation. But yeah, Ryman's right because it feels like with Carly, she comes into your life and she just tears things up and clears stuff away. So there's a new path for you. So that's what I'm feeling for you. You really wow. I love that. Mm. That's awesome. And the angels, positive thinking. The angels urge you to take control of your thought processes. You have been worrying too much. This causes your mind to race during the day and for you to sleep poorly at night. And of course, all of that, uh, you know, sleeping is important, especially during this time of uh, heightened yeah. fear. Um, you know, that's not going to help the nervous system. Worrying, worrying um, doesn't help the nervous system either. Worrying is just going to keep you in the problem. So um, I actually did pull a, a numbers card as well. It was follow your dreams oh, and it was eight and five. And um, so I'm going to, I'm going to come back to that control, that word control. And that uh, at the moment in this, uh, look, control is an illusion. If you ever thought that you had any and you feel as if you don't have any now, you never had any to begin with. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's really such a false belief. It's a really false belief. And um and I discovered that the hard way, you know, when I lost my brother in my 20s, that's when I discovered, oh, wow, you know, uh, I'd spent many years worrying about that and uh, and that didn't actually, uh, that didn't stop that experience or that event taking place. So, um, you know, be in the energy with the control. You do have control. You've got control from the inside out. You can control how you manage your mindset, how you manage your emotions. You control how you manage your inner world. And when you get that under control, the good news is you won't need to control the outer, but you will be such a strong center at the core of your life that you'll be able to make anything happen. So it's really important to be in the energy of possibility. Mm -hmm. um, and as Lou said, you'll be able to uh, follow your dreams and you've got that, was, was that, that, that was the potion card. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Um, 
what a word. I love that word. Yeah. Me too. Yes. <laughs> Just even hearing it, I'm like, ooh. ooh. So uh, powerful, potent. We'll do one more. We'll do one for uh, Justine. Would love a card, please. And then what we'll do, ladies, is that uh, myself and um, uh, Lou will come into uh, this post a little bit later and Lou will put uh, the links to her community to that quiz. You must do that quiz. It's so much fun. And, uh, and Lou will also pop the link in there to the program that she's running next week. At the end of that program, you get a complimentary hand um, a mini analysis. analysis. Yes. We're going we're gonna to pick one point in your hand and just discuss that. Yeah. Awesome, so because even that one is so powerful. It is. It is. So yeah. powerful. Mm -hmm. Yippee! <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> Where does Irene? Where does she say, Irene, I want to go live there? <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, oh no, Linda, Linda says she's got uh, a family with coronavirus. Oh, oh dear. I'm really sorry to hear that. But you know, with coronavirus, uh, Lou, you know, the wellness show where every Monday morning at 7 a.m. in our wellness community is mm. aimed at, uh, at, at all of the positive that uh, still remains in the world. And yeah. you know, with Corona, it's um, it, it is scary. It is it is. If you feel fear, you're absolutely right. You know, you're justified in in feeling it. But uh, they never ever post all the good stuff. No, you know, um, there's there's lots of lots of people you know yeah, surviving it. Lots of people coming through it. Lots of people. Um, so many good news stories around all of this. So I'm sorry to hear that, uh, Linda. If you come into the wellness community, we're going to go into there and do some readings in there. But uh, Justine is the last one in in the space. Okay. Did Justine have a question or in particular? I think she just said Justine. Justine just would love a card. Right, so interesting for me, you got, the, I pulled you the purpose card, right? Wow. <laughs> purpose, it is time to embrace your life purpose to bring into the world all that you have decided to share. Your time is now got it. And I want to go on the, the word decide because it's totally up to you. This is yes. your time. And yeah, you can put it off for, for later if you want to, or you can do it now. It, it makes no difference but when I see this one in particular the time is now and I also got the Persephone oil for you which is um you know it's solar plexus so it's courage now it's yeah. you know get into those wells of courage and she's about she's the queen of the underworld that helps you know lost souls so even if you're thinking about a healing yeah. or a kind of you know doing that for people as well or counseling people or anything like that yeah, yeah this is it's you're love it so beautiful and the angels money more about money i think money's coming to us <laughs> too lou yeah great the <laughs> angels ask that you feel the marvelous <laughs> feeling of anticipation it's the same one as you're about to receive an abundance of money so honestly you have to be in the energy margie always says this you have to be in the energy yeah. be in the energy of prosperity be in the energy of abundance be in the energy of um, you know, and it's just in the moment. You control the moment. In yeah. this moment, that's all that matters. And in this moment, be excited. Oh, lots of exciting things are coming to me. Yeah, I love that. And 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 you know, when you go, if you go to the website, like I'm always about presence, being present, yes. presence yes. plus purpose equals profit. And it can be money, it can be profiting, you know, all abundance of all kinds. But you've got to yes. be, do the do the presence yes. stuff, know your purpose. The other profit comes. So. I love it. Yippee. Thank you so much for coming into the space, Luann. We're going to pop all the links to where uh, take our audience to all of these fabulous uh, little spaces where we know, we know, ladies, you can be supported, you can get the next step, and you can get some really practical steps too on how to travel through this phase over which we have no control, but you can travel through this phase being the strongest you've ever been at the core of it all. So uh, we'll see you next um, next week, uh, 6 to 7 p.m. And um, thank you for joining us. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye.